Hello everybody, uh, I'm here today with Sergeant Suniga and Private First Class Suarez out of the Hialeah Recruiting Station. Now, Private First Class Suarez recently came back from basic training uh, to do some hometown recruiting assistant program with Sergeant Suniga. I gotta ask, man, how does it feel to be back being a soldier? How does it feel to be back home? It feels great. Um, I'm able to spend more time with my family, to just be with them, to see my recruiter again. It just, it feels, it feels great. So I'm curious, man, now that you graduated basic, you know, can you give me a little bit about your experience? How did it go for you? Uh, for me, on a while, it was really fun. Uh, I love doing the push-ups, I love running around, shooting the guns. It was just, it was a whole other story, that's for sure. All right, so I'm curious, man, what, what motivated you to join the Army, and how has your experience been so far? Uh, what motivated me, for sure, was because I wanted to do something for myself. I wanted to push myself. I wanted to see what, what I could do for myself, and, like, for sure, also, I wanted to see just what I could do. And what MOS did you choose? Well, my MOS is a 92 Romeo. I'm a parachute rigger. Are the soldiers of Military Occupational Specialty Parachute Rigger. As an instructor, I look for a student that has attention to detail and that they are very technical and they're precise in what they do. Before training in this MOS, you must first qualify as a military parachutist at the Airborne School at Fort Benning, Georgia. Okay, Sergeant Sunyaga, now I'm curious, what qualities did you see in the new graduate that made you choose them to assist you in recruiting? So I had many in-depth conversations with Private First Class Suarez before he left, and he always showed those, those attributes of somebody, being somebody who is extremely motivated, somebody who's very charismatic, and somebody who cares, um, somebody who cares about what he's doing, the Army's mission, and in bettering himself. And that's what we really look for when choosing a soldier to come down for hometown recruiting. Now I'm curious, Arn, can you share with us a little bit about the training and the different types of support that these future soldiers receive here at Hialeah Station prior to shipping out? Yeah, so here specifically at the Hialeah Station, we do bi-weekly future soldier trainings. And of course, the future soldier trainings, a lot of it is physical fitness. We really try getting them up to, up to Army standard prior to them leaving. But we also do a lot of Army drill, ceremony, basic task trainings before they leave. That way, they're better prepared than a lot of other recruits who are showing up. That's what, that's what we try giving them here at this station. And also, Sergeant, can you tell me how you think this HRAP program fits in and helps with the recruiting process with potential recruits? Yeah, so there's nobody who is better at conveying the truth about a career with the Army than somebody who just went through training, somebody who isn't a recruiter, hasn't been trained as a recruiter, but they know the people in this community. They have connections here. They have friends here. They have family here. And that's, that's what we bring down these young men and women for because they... They sell the Army naturally. Now, can you tell me a little bit about how your family and friends reacted to your decision of enlisting? When I told them the news, um, my mom started bawling her ass off. She was really proud of me. I had friends going crazy. So it was, it was, a, it was a really cool experience. Okay. Sergeant Sunigo, what advice do you have for recent graduates as they embark on this journey of being an HRAP and then once they leave for the regular Army? So the only advice that I give them as soon as they show up is is be proud of, be proud of the clothes that you wear, be proud of this uniform. You did something huge. You did something that only 1% of the population will ever set out to do. And and that's, you know, that's something to boast about. So boast about it. Be proud about it. Tell everybody that you know what you've done and spread that opportunity with with many. Now, do you plan on using any personal experience to help others make that same decision that you made in enlisting? And if so, what exactly? Um, yes, I do. I plan on telling my friends about everything because a lot of them will actually be willing to join. I um, actually have my brother here talking right now at this moment, um, getting ready for an interview, and just leave, let's see what happens. Now, Sergeant Sunyaga, how do you encourage a sense of discipline and responsibility amongst these future soldiers, especially the ones that are new to a, a, this level of responsibility? So with the future soldiers, I, I just make them know how how much lies on their shoulders when they decide to become a United States Army soldier. They are a representation of our organization, of our con of our country. So they need to take that very seriously, and and they do, they do. Um, we have enough conversations here, and and we really we really mentor them until they understand the gravity of what they've decided to do. Now, what's a valuable lesson that you have learned from basic training that you think will stay with you forever? Uh, for sure, it would be like relying on others. Um, a lot of times I, I was really down and stuff. I had 
like my battle buddies trying to like pick me up and stuff. So that really did help me a lot. Do you have any specific goals or aspirations while you're in the army that you're aiming for? Um, I would like to go to um, Ranger School and Aer Aerosol School, just to be a great like stepping stone for myself. So what comes next, and what can we expect from you once you leave Hialeah and go to the regular army? Uh, well, my next step will be I'm going to Fort Liberty, North Carolina, uh, to support and special operations, and just be the best me I can be. All right. Thank you. Best of luck. Thanks so much.